All right, y'all, this is ZF Taylor, Zaki Farid Taylor, signing out for the evening. But I have one more question that I have to get out. But before I do, I want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every single person that has sent me a question, that has sent me a discussion topic. You've given me enough to go off for weeks. I appreciate you. I even appreciate you crazies. I, I, y'all, when I tell you I got some crazy questions, like, what the hell are you talking? All right, real talk. Yo, just believe me. All right, last question of the evening. I'm going to read it. Why do couples always compare their relationship with others? And on the outside, they look great. But when those doors close, it's a whole new level of craziness. Look, the way I can answer that is just based upon my opinion. If I lose some love, hey, that's just real life. We're living a generation of humbleness. I'm not trying to mess up my eye for y'all, but that's what's up. That's the last one of the night. Yo, uh, we're living in a generation of humbleness and exhaustion. For year after year, we fought and we strive for equality and peace through civil rights, uh, taking all the way back to slavery. I agree with some that we've adopted a house nigga state of mind. As the field had, uh, had the luxury of the in-house quarters, they still wondered what was going on with their neighbors, their brothers, their sisters, their family members out there in the field. So they overcompensated their role by telling lavish stories of how good it was up in Master's house. Really? When the dust settled and the smoke cleared, they were still a slave. They were still a house nigga. They were still an individual that was in bondage. Huh? So, yeah, the grass looks greener always on the other side. Especially when you're in bondage. They can always tell you what is wrong and how to fix it. But they can't follow their own advice, right? That's the way I kind of see it. So, now, I, I, I can hear them now. You know, they're talking about, you know... Y'all just need to sit down and talk about it. While they plotting brand new ways every single day to kill Massa. To kill their bondage. Now, bruh. The way I see it. Nah. You gotta watch out for them people that are trying to keep up with the Joneses. The ones with the big house, the big car, and, and the nice clothes, and the great image. Because these are the people that don't go nowhere. But the church, to show off. Because they ain't got no money. They in bondage to whatever situation they're in in their relationship. Don't pay them no mind. There's always going to be a few in the bunch. Just hold yours. Do yours. Do you. Because can't nobody do you better than you. Let us grow. Peace.